Victoria is known as the ballerina cat. She is featured in a lot of the dancing parts. And she, as a character, represents um, purity and youth. And her a whole life is ahead of her. And that feeds into Grizabella in, in that when Grizabella comes into all these scenes and sees what her life was before she was rejected by this tribe, she focuses in on Victoria because she remembers when she was that purity. She used to be that, that emulates what she used to be um, without asking for the attention. Victoria seems to be the center of attention and she's also ex exploring her body. Everything's new to Victoria. Um, and Victoria also is very integral to the plot that she's the first cat to truly accept Grizabella and actually touch her at the end. Um, so she's a very wonderful, wonderful character. Well, this was a very interesting endeavor um, they were trying to do. They wanted to bring back cats, and cats has such a legacy, and cats has such a following. So they didn't, they, the creative team did not want to bring back cats as a br brand new production. So um, I believe it was um, uh, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber who approached Andy Blankenbuehler to breathe some fresh life into the choreography and into certain aspects of the musical. So it is, it's a, so it was, it was an equation and it was an ever-changing equation to find the balance between old and new. So as someone who's seen Cats before, you're gonna see the cats that you know and love, but you're going to see um, Andy's an amazing choreographer and the, the additions that he's made are maybe gonna draw your eye to something brand new you've never seen before or maybe put a different emphasis on a movement that was already there, but that makes the storytelling clearer. Um, so it, it, it was a really great and fun process to be a part of. The challenges for me is, uh, there are many challenges for me in, in, in this endeavor of becoming Victoria the Cat and Cats. It's uh, usually eight shows a week. There you have it. Um, also, this show, the dancing in the show, is some of the hardest dancing I've ever done in my life. And um, Mr. Blankenbuehler has taken, and he, he picked an amazing cast of dancers and singers and actors, and we are all um, shown to our best abilities, but then we, every single one of us was asked to do something that we're not comfortable doing. So I find myself singing. And uh, yeah, I sing, I sing the chorus, um, with the other singers, but that's that's not necessarily I consider a forte of mine. So I'm singing it to a two-hour show, two-hour plus show, and dancing a million different styles. Which uh, the ballet I can, you know, I can gr obviously grasp, but the ch ever changing of styles throughout the evening does take a certain toll on the body, and it requires a certain energy. And then um, the final thing that's made it sort of an interesting adjustment is the fact that we have a raked stage, which means the stage at, is at an angle and is not actually a flat surface to dance on. So a rake, I've danced on a rake before. Um, I'm on tour with New York City Ballet, a lot of the European theaters had raked stages and that was, um, the stage was raked because the audience was flat. Nowadays, when theaters are built, the audience is raked, so therefore the stage can be flat. I believe it, it improves the sight lines of the cats. I mean, the cats are on the ground. This the production, we're crawling all over. We're all over the set, which is another interesting thing, is to have such an interactive set to work with every night. Um, it's kind of like a human, like, adult jungle gym. Um, so I believe that's why the rake's there. Um, and is still present in this modern day production, even though in the Neil Simon, the, you know, the audience is raked as well. Um, but it's, it will point out every single weakness you have in your body. So generally my um, lower abdominal core is not the strongest. I mean, you look at me and you think I'm strong, but it, there are certain weaknesses and I see them coming out like trifold, and so I've really had to up my training and my rehabilitation to kind of make sure that injuries don't pop up or become worse because of this change of surface. Um.